What's happening, Woodshop class? Mr. Coop here. Hey, I've already showed you a little bit about what it is to get a straight edge on your material. And remember, mark it so that you can see. Whoa, is that mirror image? I don't know what's happening, but that's straight edge. You want to make sure you know what that is because on the fan saw, you're going to put that against the fans. And similarly, here when we get over to the track saw or the crosscut saw, we're going to go ahead and put that against the fence as well. So there we go, we got our straight edge against the fence, no gaps, really pretty. And I've made sure that all the materials cleared out from under here, nothing in the way. I go ahead and set my material in here and then set my stop. I'm going to try and make this into a square. So on the band side, I took it to 10 and a half. And now I'm going to take it to 10 and a half on this as well. So here we go. I'm going to set it to 10 and a half. Right there. Make sure I turn this dial nice and tight. Okay, that's not moving anywhere. My stop is set, 10 and a half inches. Then I want to make sure my material is slid tight against there and it's tight against the fence, tight against my stop. Then I can go ahead and lower my clamp. Feels pretty tight. Feel good about that. Now, you want to make sure your saw is pulled all the way back. In this instance, I'm not taking off enough from my material to warrant me using this one because there's no material over here. So. If you only have one clamp on your material, you want to make sure to go a little slower than usual. All right? Because the saw has less, or it has more tendency to pull this thing out because it's not clamped on either side of the blade. So it's going to have a lot more pressure pulling this thing, trying to kick it around. Okay? So, material's clamped, tied against the stop, stop set to what I want it to be. And I've got my clamp really tight. I've checked to see that it's not moving around. So this saw has a stop in the back so you can pull it all the way back till it hits to the back. And it's going to have a stop at the front here too. I really don't want you to like ram into this thing. This is not bumper cars. What I'd love to see is a nice slow cut. And you'll feel when you get through your board that there's less friction. And just make sure that you anticipate that so that at the end you don't have a jerky maneuver and run into the stop. This saw should always remain on the track. There's no reason whatsoever to pick it up off the track. It can just stay there. And I've assembled this so that the hose, the vacuum, and the electrical cord are tied together and they have plenty of length. So we're set. Make sure uh, not to mess with those. All right, so here we go. We're in the right spot. This saw operates very similar to what the Fizz Tool straight line one does. So you'll need to press down first. After, sorry, you'll have to press the safety in order to get the saw down. So here's your safety on this tool, right at the top, and the saw will go down. Now you're going to want to make sure you have both hands on the machine, and you can then go ahead and operate it. Hopefully you watched and saw that I moved really slowly with the saw in order that there wouldn't be any kick out or blow out. And I didn't let the saw come up until I already heard the motor had stopped, come to a complete stop. Now after that's done, go ahead and please pull it all the way back, return it to its original spot. And you can then take two hands, release that clamp, and if you need to in order to get your material out. Uh, but, and make sure you take your straps off too, okay? So I took both my strap and this are gone. Okay, so there we go. Let's see how I did. Let's see if I got my ten and a half by ten and a half. Let's see if we have to come correctly. That looks pretty darn good. All right, ten and a half by ten and a half. Nice square here. 